on them back again and you might wonder well do you throw that water away when you've uh, flushed the frags and uh, sometimes I do it just depends but today um, <clears throat> I decided to uh, just do all the phalaenopsis not the ones in pots but the ones I've got in those plastic round containers and also the mounted ones and if I take you around this way you'll see the uh, all the frags are back in place <clears throat> and uh, down there and there we go there so this was the uh, I'll have to be careful I'll just go down on one knee this is the uh, Phalaenopsis that has got the uh, the bud. Well, it did have two buds, didn't it? And they knocked one off. So that's had a good watering. You see, these are treat as mounts because they do dry out very quickly. That's another one. I never noticed where I hang them. Got little trays underneath them. See, little trays where they just catch the water as they drip. <clears throat> this is my stick with my Phalaenopsis stewartiana. Looking worse for wear, like I say. Um, that's the uh, Phalaenopsis parisii, the species one. You'll notice I've got some more orange cotton around there. Well, do you remember there was a dead leaf? So I've just pulled that dead leaf and pulled a little section away. So I've had to put that back and just tie it around with cotton. Anyway, they'll just <coughs> stay there just a while. This is the um, the mini from Tesco. It's not giving me any new roots yet, but uh, I still have hope. Uh, that's little Zorro. Well, it's looking more like big Zorro now. And this one, <coughs> if you remember this one, this is my um, birthday one. Um, well, one of the birthday ones. And can you see? <coughs> A new pink root. <coughs> Can you see it that way? Emerging there. Can you see that one? And then if we turn it over, now where is it? I've got another one emerging on that side. So I've got two emerging. Is that the right side? I'm looking at the right one. <clears throat> anyway, let me just have a check. One. Yes, I have two. There's one. Let me see. That one there. And we turn it round and we've got that one there. So, that one's going to be alright on this piece of um, wood. There we go. That's one of the mounted ones. That's the, if I get up now, this is the, uh, the mounted one, that's been, had water poured all over it, and I've got up and should have not got up yet, so this is what happens, I hang them, when I give them a really good um, watering, I hang them under this shelf here all in a line, all with trays underneath and then these will go back tonight so uh, and then they'll hang at the front of these shelves here and if I get back up again there's the other frags all in their little places these are the ones I did yesterday and uh, these had a feed yesterday, but uh, see I've still got a little bit of <coughs> leaf damage, but one can't help that. This one, this hangs a bit lower down here, and the other one hangs there, and uh, this is the one that, um, come on now, I've got those two new little roots coming out of that area there. Now you'll see. There's the two roots, one, and there's one just below it. 
Um, these might get watered later. They're dry, but they're not actually bone dry. But they're doing quite well. I think this one's... Um, what's this one called? Oh, Vanda Peaches. Volcata by uh, Curvy Folia. And uh, usually a good indicator is the, uh, the roots there. You see? Yeah, that will get watered. I'm going to have a cup of tea in a minute and then that will get watered along with the others. And here's the uh, the other one, the other little curvy folia. Of course this is just hung the wrong way around but um, there we go. It's got that new leaf coming out there. So really chuffed with that one. And that one, <coughs> that one can just hang there. And I'll put a little clip on it. And when it gets blown about um, by this big oscillating fan, uh, then it's quite firm. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. <clears throat> I was giving some of these a water yesterday. And because uh, I water these from the bottom, this is the uh, Dendrobium Dawn Marie by Rum Camel. It's a bit like, <clears throat> it's a bit like that one. I have to be careful here, won't I? So, if I do it that way. What's that little thing there? Just by that suitable. I thought, oh well, thank goodness for that. I've not killed it. Don't know whether it's a new little suitable which it's sending out or what. But we'll have to wait and see for that one. Oops. Let's focus it on something. And then uh, <coughs> it'll refocus. So if we go across here. There's the little dendrobium shape coming there on the um, Gracilli Corley. They're only tiny, you know, these things are. Love them. Love them to bits. Right, so uh, let's take you over here now. And then um, all these are now ready to be, um, to be watered. And... Uh, these were, these are normally done first thing, but uh, we've got really mild temperatures today. Believe it or not, it's 16.7 outside, and I've got the window open, and it's 21.6 21 here, with 63% humidity. So it is uh, very, very warm for a spring day. There we are. And uh, let's have a look. This is the big one, sending that new leaf out. No, uh, no green, green growing tips yet, but um, we'll wait. Eventually, it'll give us some nice growing tips. And the other, um, I'm just showing you, under peaches. The other one, I wasn't too sure about it in that square basket, and I thought, no, I'm not really, you know, because I think at some point this had a little bit of. Um, crown rot. So what I did yesterday, I uh, decided to mount that one and it just just fits that mount nice there. I think it's quite nice. It cascades over and uh, that'll do, that'll be due for watering in a few minutes and um, likewise with the uh, this one here, Rinko Stylus Gigantica. That gets, uh, that gets watered daily. Here we are with the curvy folia, with that new leaf showing through there. That's ready to be watered. And that one's doing very nice as well. And that's Tian Mu. And uh, I think we might see um, a new suitable appearing near where those roots are. There we go. You see, those are the roots on the uh, um, Lelia purpurata. You lay banging and things. It's the uh, it's the parents picking the children up. The most ill-mannered people in society. These parents are. And what amazes me more than anything is they get the kids out on the roadside. I'm all right, Jack. Stuff you. And the language they use, I can't tell you. No wonder the, uh, we've got a, a generation of children 
who were screwballed, tell you. Anyway, mustn't get, mustn't get on my eye horses because it's um, <clears throat> not allowed to voice your opinion. But uh, in, in, you know, in the confines of your own house, you can say what you want. But uh, I do try and um, curb my uh, enthusiasm for these parents. I tell you, I'd film them, but I wouldn't. Uh, I don't want to waste uh, time. Anyway. I'm muttering about nothing now, so I'm going to have my cup of tea. And uh, what else have we got up here? I noticed a couple of my oil leaves there. And I've watered them, so I don't know what I've done wrong there. I've either not watered them enough or I've watered them too much. Oh, I wanted to show you this one. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, let's just get it off. I'll drop the other seat down there. Will it focus? We've got two new roots down in there. So I'm very pleased with that one. They were watered yesterday. Let's have a look at a shoot and know and see how that one's coming on. These should start uh, really uh, responding to the extra daylight hours we've got now and uh, like I say see watered yesterday and they won't get watered now um, until at some point tomorrow so uh, just a short video really just to show you uh, um, what, what I do sometimes with uh, the spare water I mean I could throw it away sometimes I go out and throw it in the garden but we've had that much rain that uh, sorry about that we've had that much rain the garden doesn't need it that's that uh, big uh, dusky maid by uh, RLC Bruce Randall and that's doing very nicely and I did <coughs> notice yesterday on this one here that leaf doesn't look good does it look at that one <clears throat> but when I lifted one of these um, leaves back yesterday, I noticed it had, you won't see it, it's down there, it, had, it was sending new roots out. So I do believe now that one is settling down and I don't have to move them again, she says. Margaret's famous last words. Let's have a look under this leaf. Is that happy sap? I'm always a bit wary under these, uh, can you see it? Under these leaves, whether it's happy sat, happy sap, or whether it's the dreaded uh, spider mite. Can you see? Oh dear. Let's have a look. I can't see anything just yet, um, and I haven't got a piece of paper towel in. I'll have to check that in a minute. It's going to drive me crackers, that is now. That's behind the other leaves. Like I say, I do check them. Sometimes you don't check them, you know, in time. See, that one's alright. Right, as soon as I've had my cup of tea, I shall be back up here checking those leaves. So, just a quick video and uh, I'll throw all this water away now and then I'm going to bid you farewell. Take care. Bye bye now.